Israel and the United Arab Emirates are celebrating their peace deal with delegations from each state expected to meet and sign the agreement. Now, as expected, it's been slammed by the Palestinians, Iran, Kuwait, Turkey, and Hezbollah in Lebanon. But other Arab states have actually welcomed the agreement, and rumors are flying that others will follow suit soon. Well, to break it all down, we have our correspondent Yotam Confino with us live from Tel Aviv. So, Yotam, let's start with the rumors. Who is expected to follow suit and make peace with Israel after the UAE? Quite a long list, actually, and some of the countries that were expected already before this deal to actually normalize ties with Israel, that is, of course, Bahrain, the Kingdom of Bahrain. It is a Gulf nation that has been very, very open towards normalization with Israel in recent years, and also Oman. This is one of the Gulf nations that is also looking at Israel favorably. But we also have somewhat of a surprising uh, rumor here that is Sudan might be next in line, and also Morocco, of course. So those four countries are the ones that people are talking about might be next in line. And of those countries, which seems to be the most realistic to have the biggest chance of making peace with Israel? Definitely the Kingdom of Bahrain. Bahrain, like I said, has already issued a lot of statements really in support of Israel. One of the most controversial ones, at least in the Arab world, was when the Bahraini foreign minister defended Israel's right to attack Iranian targets in Syria. Mm -hmm. It was seen as highly controversial back then. And Oman, which is a nation that welcomed Netanyahu two years ago when he came on, a, on an on a unofficial visit to Oman, the first leader to do so in 20 years. So those two, I think we have to look at carefully here. Now, who is the most against this deal? The Palestinians, first of all. The Palestinians see this as a massive betrayal by their Arab ally. They see this as the United Arab Emirates selling out to Israel, that they're benefiting from a lot of uh, economic and technological things, but really giving up on the Palestinians. And of course, Iran. Iran is the main, the key player here, because it, it really is afraid that there is an alliance of sorts uh, being formed now officially with Israel and Gulf nations. Interesting. Now, Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law and his advisor, is also mentioning another interesting state that he thinks is going to normalize ties with Israel. Can you tell us what it is? That is the crown jewel, which is Saudi Arabia, of course. Mm -hmm. This is really the state that Israel is looking to normalize ties with the most. It is the most powerful player in the Middle East, other than Iran and Israel, of course. And according to Jared Kushner, it is inevitable. It is really just a matter of time before ties will be normalized. And he's also right to some extent. Uh, support from not really support but connections between Saudi Arabia and Israel have really got, been going on for a long time clandestinely but it's still it's something that everyone is looking at now it will take probably longer than Bahrain and Oman but it's still worth mentioning definitely.